When David sent me the script for the show, told me the uh, the character he wanted me to play, I read read the whole script, loved it, had no idea how to play Eric Wells. I knew exactly how to play every other character in the show. I could have I could have read the lines. I mean, including Lizzie's character. I could. Have, I, I knew exactly how to approach all of the other characters. But Eric is is kind of a classic heroic lead, and I I just don't play those guys. I play characters that have that have a little bit more complexity, edge, weirdness, uh, the bad guy character. One of the, the most important parts of the character of Eric Wells is that he's, he is plagued with the fear that he is not good enough, that he's not going to be the kind of leader that he needs to be. He's not going to be able to lead the people into battle against the Martians, that he's going to fail. And so the sensation that I was getting was exactly right and appropriate. It was very disturbing. Huh? Joe is a really cool guy. And I, I mean, the idea, the original concept of, uh, of taking War of the Worlds uh, and, and reinventing it with the idea that the Martians have been and they've left some technology and the humans have used the technology and trying to figure out ways of protecting themselves and also fighting back when the Martians return. And all the, the, the steampunk uh, idea, the imagery for that, uh, that, so far as I understand, was, was originally from him. He's a, very, he's a very creative, very interesting guy. It, a, a movie doesn't, doesn't work, doesn't take you over, doesn't transport you to another place just with the pictures. It's also the sound, and the, the, Imaginex has done an unbelievable job with this. I mean, I, it, it's, that is really the thing that, that elevates it from being just, you know, a, a cool film to being a different world that we've created. The picture, the sound. It's, this, is, this is an awesome movie.